This is the story of the legendary Panamanian hill. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Like a shoe or an actual, like a, Sorry. a small mountain? The, uh, like the, okay, I call it a mountain, all right. Uh, <clears throat> this is the story of the mountain that kills. So... All right, so uh, a lot of y'all know, or for those who don't know, I was born in Germany, I bounced around a lot. So I lived in Panama when I was younger. And Panama is just a beautiful tropical place, you know, lots of animals and, you know, lots of just you know, reptiles. And it's also the story that I told of the time I ran from a python, which you can go back and I was, yeah, I ran into a snake. So anywho. Her ex did too. Her ex definitely oh, did too. Okay. <laughs> They probably like what? <laughs> but anywho, so I used to play outside a lot because you know y'all new kids, y'all don't be playing outside. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be in the house on your on your iPads and whatnot, on your talks and your ticks. Uh, <laughs> but there was this gigantic mountain of a hill, like one of those ones that you see in cartoons, super huge, right in our community. And the kids would always be outside and like rolling their bikes down the hill and all type of stuff. I never was able to go up there because my mom was like, don't you go up there. That, that hill is too big for you to be going up there and doing that. You know, all that parent shit that you don't be wanting to hear when you're younger. You're like, man, I, I can get money out here. Even though I didn't know I was young, you know, but you just, it's the stuff you do. So one day I was outside, I had my group of kids, I was like playing with, you know, see we was outside, throwing football, whatever, doing kid stuff. And they, a couple of them was like, hey, we about to go up to the hill and ride our bikes down the hill. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, okay, well, y'all come back when, you, <laughs> when you're done, cause I can't, I can't go. And they was like, oh, you can't go? And you know, kids are, are what they call assholes. So mm -hmm. they immediately was like, ah, you can't go to the mountain, ah. I was like, oh, I mean, I, okay. To All be right. honest, they knew you couldn't go. They didn't, they didn't want to hang out with you. So they was they like, could, the one place you can't go is the mountain, so that, let's get out of here. That could have been it. So I was like down there, like, you know, I'd be on my bike and I look up at the hill and I see them, wee, <laughs> I'm just fucking mad and I'm like, Come on, man. So, this kind of went on for a little while to the point where one dude came and he was like, asked me, he was like, you know how to uh, ride your bike with no hands? I did him. I was like, yeah, I know how to ride my bike with no hands. He was like, oh, well, he was like, we, we going up to the hill to ride the bike with no hands. It's, it's, it's fun. Like, you go over there, da, da, da. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll do it one day. Because <laughs> I couldn't do it then. So, I had a uh, babysitter at the time. And so I said, now my kid brain is starting to think. My mom had to work a little later than usual, and my dad. And so the babysitter there, and she liked me, you know, she was, you know, I was, I could like easily like, just like, you know, please can I do this and that. So one day she was there chilling, and I came to her and I was like, hey, can I, um, can I go to the hill and like play with the kids? Mama said it'll be fine. Now, now you know. You ain't supposed to lie on mama. As soon as the kids say, my mama, I know you lying. I, I was like, mama said, she was like, yeah, I could go play with them because she see me out there wanting to play with them. I always said, let me call her. And I was see like, how you I was like, hey, chill, chill, relax. <laughs> relax. Now, a little, little intermittent story for this story. For some reason, I thought I was like a, a ninja or something as a kid. I did stupid shit. Like, one time I didn't. I, I didn't like pork chops when I was really, really young because I thought they were too chewy and I could never like finish it. And so one day my mom made me sit and finish the plate and I was like, man, fuck that, man. I ain't, I ain't doing this. So I would chew the pork chop and I threw it to the ceiling. <laughs> so it was stick. Me thinking, nobody's gonna look up there. What type of idiot was <laughs> like, I'm throwing on the ceiling. Like, of course you're gonna look, it's our house. She's clean stuff. Especially black parents, like, they ain't gonna be cleaning and shit. And I, I remember she whooped my ass with that shit. I threw, I threw so much pork chop on, it looked like a fucking pork farm on the, on the fucking ceiling for me chewing and be like, ugh. And I thought, I was like, hell yeah, I got this shit. Anywho, so back to the story. <laughs> Babysitter goes, yeah, I don't see why not. 
uh, just make sure that we I can see you and you go to the hill. So I'm like, yeah, me in the hill, we about to meet this girl. I'm ready, let's go. I mean, so I get on my bike. I had a little Ninja Turtles bike. I was excited. <laughs> so the kids come out and they thought they was gonna just be talking to me any kind of way this time. They was like, all right, we about to go to the hill. We know you can't come, you know. The... I looked at them. I can go today. <laughs> they like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, bet. Big Green was back. Hey, Big Green was back. I was back. I was excited, man. So I had never mind. Remember, I had never been on this hill, so I didn't really know how big this shit was. So we start climbing up the hill, and it had like cement down the middle, and so we start climbing the hill. Now I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> Big Green scared. Yeah, now Big Green scared. <laughs> Them greens turning collar. You know what I'm saying? They they getting they getting scared, right? So I'm going I'm going up the hill and I'm like, oh, I ain't know this shit was this big. Like, okay, but I'm still thinking, okay, it's just riding down the hill, cause I can't let I'm not about to be embarrassed, y'all. Like these these the homies, so I can't I can't back out now, cause I back out that's it. So. First dude, he a little older. He go down, no hands. He he whipping down the hill. He's just sliding down the hill. I'm like, damn, that's cool as fuck, he goes man. Riding the bike. Yeah, he goes riding the bike. Hey, two more people go. They all doing no hands. So buddy last like couple dudes look at me and they was like, oh yeah, yeah, today we doing no hands today. Da da da. And so it, I had never did no hands before on a bike. Straight Wale with it. Straight, straight they going straight Wale, no hands. I'm on, and me, I'm on handle. I'm handle, I'm bars, nigga. I'm bar niggas up. So we riding, I mean, well, they riding down. And so I'm like the last one. And I can see all the, the, the little bikes down at the bottom. They looking up and they like, come on up. And I remember I just was like, all right, it can't be that hard. <laughs> That's where you were. I'm like, it can't be that hard. Just get a good roll and just lift the hands and just balance the bike, bro. You you got you not that you 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 young, you got this. Y'all <laughs> My heart is racing. So we at, I'm at the top. I'm like, all right, all right, here we go, y'all. So I start like edging, edging, edge, and I start to go down. So my hands is on the bars at first. So I'm like, all right, let me just make sure my balance right. But I'm waiting too long because the bike is is picking up speed now. So I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do it, it's neither now or never, or they'll never, they'll they'll say I'm a punk if I don't do it. So I gotta do it. I'm talking about. <laughs> I lift my hand immediate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about it look like some of a family guy. I'm talking about immediate boom scrape scrape tumble 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 scrape scrape tumble boom boom boom. I know they reacted like the the dude in the Red Man video when the, the girl hit the car. Well, it like, one one of the people. It was a girl. She screamed. Ah! <laughs> she screamed. Did the baby and I can hear it, huh? Did the baby see this? I don't know, cause I don't know if she was looking out the window or not, dog. I, I'm talking about tumble, bike, handle the uh, the chain, flip <laughs> off the bike. I said, boom, boom, boom. I get up. Uh, <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> One of the kids come on. He look at me. He said, "You okay?" Oh my God, are you all right? <laughs> Come on, mama! <laughs> and so the baby said, "The scene she came out there, I'm up, scrape, scrape, face scrape, legs." She was like, "Oh my god, bike broke." In my mind, even though I'm going through pain, I'm like, "I'm gonna go through worse pain when my mama find out." Mm -hmm. Every time. I'm gonna go through worse pain when my mom find out. So, I, as the baby said, the passion me up, I'm crying. You gonna tell my mama? <laughs> You, you, you tell my mom. <laughs> She's like, yeah, okay, you go. She gonna come home and see you <laughs> scraped up. So my mom come home. I would have called her before you got her, but I was a babysitter. Uh, you say you were? I would have called her before she got home. I was a babysitter. No, no, no. She called her, let her know. Like, yeah, she let her know what happened. And I just knew because I think I heard my mom say, okay. <laughs>
I was like, fuck, man. So I'm I'm in my room when my mama get I, I hear the door open. I'm like, fuck, I got band-aids on and shit. I'm still in there. No, I was like, sleep. so oh. immediately my thought was, I should have went to sleep immediately. I was like, all right, I got to put on like the most sympathetic. I got to, I need to cry. Like I need to, I got to figure this out. Like how girls be using to their advantage to this day. Like I need to figure how to access that method. I need to get into it. So my mom here come up the steps. I'm fucking scared, man. Y'all know I be scared. I be I was scared, dog. And so <laughs> she coming up them steps. You know my mom military and shit. So I'm like, oh. She opened the door. Man, strong. Look, open up the door. Boom. My, I I'm sorry. I, I ain't know it was. Uh, she ain't hear none of that. I told you I'm not. I know I ain't nothing. And she grabbed me by my shirt. And I'm like, Mama, please, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know I was going with the kids. And I'm snot. I'm trying to. I was like, just please, I'm sorry. I'm giving a hug. I didn't mean to. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. I'm. I, I'm just. I'm spitting, spitting everything out. And you know, you know, mother's love is that I'm, I'm breaking it down. I can feel it. I can feel it. Me breaking it down. I was like, I gotta. I gotta crank it up. And I hope this don't make you hate me. <laughs> That's it. That's I, like, I, I didn't mean to. And she's like, "Son, I don't hate you. I just you hard headed. You hard. I know I you'll never be hard headed again. I wish they had a camera on this side. Of, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> and so she was like, "All right." She was like, "But you can't go out. You 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 done with outside right now because you you on punishment. You can't go outside." You. I was like, "Okay, all right." Yeah. And uh, you know, later that night she fixed me some pork chops and everything was all good. <laughs> <laughs> what about your dad though? He was he was working, so he. Uh, I mean, but I think my well, she told my dad, but you know, dad, he, I mean, the boy, he a boy, he, you know. All right, I only got one question. Mm -hmm. Is that the anti DJ Khaled album, But God? All right. All right, what comes in the box once you get it? All your retainers. I got 15 of them, so it's gonna take me 15 weeks to straighten my teeth. And I only got the top teeth because I need a bottom tooth extracted, but what's cool about Bite, they work with me, so they'll still help me with my top teeth until I get my bottom teeth situated. So I got 15 retainers all in this box. Also, Got some accessories I got that you put your retainers in, carry around when you take them out to eat or if you out or whatnot at a restaurant, you on a date, put it in there. And I got some whitening foam to use, whiten my teeth. Also, we got the Hyperbite, which is really cool, which um, cuts your time in half. If you use it every day, I think it's just for five minutes a day, it'll cut your treatment time in half. There, it's the only technology that um, Bite has, the technology only Bite has, which is really cool. It separates them from all the other competition. So I'm excited to use that. And yeah, so today is the day. I'm gonna open this one. See what it looks like. Boom, but I still get the bottom with it, but it's probably just gonna keep it in place. Where is that? Which is cool, but this is the, my first, my first trade for the first week of straightening my top teeth. So comes with instructions. The weight comes with a little sticker that says the weight is over. It's time to bite. I know you can't see it, but just focus. I don't know. This is cool. Let me pop it in. And it fits. It fits perfectly, actually. And it's comfortable too, but I gotta take it out before I eat or drink anything that's not water. So that's cool. Well, let me put this in the tray. So if y'all want to start on this journey, just use my code BITEDT. Hi, my name is Alex, and this is the time that I chased my boyfriend over a bridge in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs>